This is probably what are you what are you doing over here? Okay, dude. I just saw you changing something. Yeah, so new really? bike. Okay. Uh, on new bikes, I always drop the stock washer. So the dome washer, which is a Belleville washer. Okay, that's what we run in our clutch packs, right? Uh, yes. So that's what KTM uses as the DDS. So this is basically the tech is like boneheadedly simple. Uh huh. It's just a stamped piece of metal. And when you compress it, it wants to it wants to resist. So it wants to be in this state. That's its natural state. Right. When you compress it, it's trying to go back, and so it's it's putting it's pressurized. So you can calibrate the amount of pressure with different materials or different different bends. Right. The mm -hmm. more you bend it, the more it will resist to a point, because then you could just deflect it to where it's collapsed. Gotcha. This and is what you're looking come for back. right here. Okay, tell me about this guy. So this is Dirt Tricks, and what this is, so this is just mild steel, and this is a tool steel. And this has basically lifetime spring preload capacity. KTM would recommend that you change this, replace this. Any time you ever disassemble this to change gearing or whatever, really, this is a replacement item. It's more of also like a, uh, a service life. Uh, th this thing will... Uh, eventually lose its tension and then this that so underneath here mm -hmm. if you've ever replaced your oil seal or you've had oil leaking that kind of sprays collects on your chain right. and sprays if you if this is all oily and dirty you probably have a weak dome washer and then the o-ring that's behind there no longer is doing its sealing job gotcha so on a new bike we just almost automatically pull these things off i don't want to be in baja and have oil leaking out of there right so we'll just pretty much automatically by default put one of these on if the bike had a considerable amount of time on it i would replace the bolt mm -hmm. but since this bike has so few hours i'll reuse it and i'm going to put some medium strength that's blue Loctite? Yeah, blue. So it, depending on what brand, it's going to have a different color value. But yeah, there's always green, blue, and red. We're going blue is the medium. Yeah, so medium. And don't get too carried away. And then the other tip is you see how the bolt is is got a little bit of a, a, a dip there, a mm -hmm. recess, so that it's keyed, so that it's Keep locked it in like that. When you reinstall this, before you tighten it down, don't... You need to be really careful that you don't tighten it down where it's cockeyed like that. Mm -hmm. You can take some screwdriver, a screwdriver, like a flat screwdriver, and if you've put a little tension and it's in that weird position, you can just slide it and it will just snick itself. It'll just key itself in? Yeah, it'll key itself right into that slot. And then once you've got it like that, then you can go ahead and, and tighten it all the way down. Gotcha. Perfect, man. Thank you so much. I saw you throwing this on here. I want to do a quick little video. You can check them out, takamoto.co, for all the goodies.